Hey everybody, I'm going to do a little show and tell today, <clears throat> doing something a little different. I'm working on uh, my boat to uh, service the injectors, but I thought you all might like to see this. I made a custom made fuel injection conversion on my outboard motor uh, quite a few years ago. And uh, I'll, you, might, you might find this interesting. It's a little sport boat. It's a uh, 1978 Axon Marine. I'll, uh, let me turn the camera around and show you. This is a 1978 Action Marine, uh, 16 foot, eight inches, a uh, little teeny boat. Uh, it was supposedly, uh, used to be raced in Miami Marine Stadium back in the day with a different engine. I believe the, they had an inline Mercury 6 on it at the time. But um, I've got a OMC, Johnson Avenue, whatever you want to call, V4. I did a, I made a custom fuel injection conversion for it. These motors were all carbureted and um, my my business that I've been in for the last 25 years is uh, outboard fuel injection, uh, making intake manifolds, ECUs, uh, fuel injector cleaning and calibration, and uh, that, that's my specialty. But this was just a little pet project I had uh, I thought you all might like to see this, but let me show you a little more of the boat. It's just a two-seater. Um, I've had several race boats over the years for outboard drag racing. I'll show you some of those. This is the Laser 380. I had a very lightweight boat, 400 pounds bare hull weight, uh, all Kevlar construction. Uh, I've got an OMC 3 liter V6 on there, putting out about 280 horsepower at the time. This is in High Point, North Carolina. Uh, a Lucas Oil event, and here I'm racing in a gambler class. Uh, I'm an 11 second class. This boat that uh, I'm racing here is a nine second boat, so I get a two second head start. Very, a lot of fun. This is my STV River Rocket. It's a center steer air entrapment type hull. Uh, they call it pickle fork. It's got a center pod and then two outer sponsons, so it really flies on the water. Much more stable than the uh, V-bottom boat in the previous pictures. Uh, I've raced this in uh, East Coast Drag Boat Association, Outboard Drag Boat Association, and Lucas Oil events. Uh, I've got the same motor on here, but I ported it much more extensively in a lot of other mods, putting out about 340 horse at the prop shaft. Uh, here I'm at Lucas Oil, uh, Augusta Southern Nationals, racing a big blown big block boat. He's a nine second boat. I'm an 11 second boat. Uh, really messes with their heads when you we leave two seconds early, but a lot of fun. But uh, this is just a little toy uh, that I felt safe for my wife and I just to tool around the lake in. It, you know, it's not really that fast. It's, it'll do about 72 miles an hour with this little V4 on it. Uh, you know, the boats that I'm used to, my race boats, uh, uh, some of them ran 108 miles an hour in the quarter mile. So uh, this is just a, a little play thing. But uh, let me show you what I built. I'm getting ready to put these uh, injectors back in the motor. Uh, my friend Rich, who took over our injector cleaning business uh, a few years ago, uh, did these up for me. They're uh, balanced less than 2% uh, between the highest and lowest. He also tested the fuel pressure regulator. But let me show you what I built here. This is uh, the OMC V4. And um, originally, these throttle bodies here, this part was... Uh, part of the original carburetors. I took the carburetor bodies off and made an adapter plate in the front for the, these uh, velocity stacks. And I also have uh, extensions for these that I can put on to tune the pulse length. But then I cast these uh, injector plates that go between the throttle body and the original intake manifold. That's where I got to put the injectors. And I had to modify the linkage and so forth. And I built these fuel rails out of uh, uh, brass, pipe and uh, brass fittings and I silver soldered everything together and uh, had it nickel plated got a and fittings on the ends and then uh, this is controlled by our uh, AC ECU here we manufacture this also uh, this is something these housings I cast this is an old style one with the cast housing but we make billet ones now my daughter is uh, running the company for uh, the uh, ACU, which is our advanced control unit for these outboard motors. So I'll put a link 
to that in the description as well as uh, Ricardo Fuel Injector Service, uh, Rich's company. Tell him, tell Rich that I Tony sent you, and uh, he'll take good care of you. He does not just outboard stuff, but he'll do automotive as well. But uh, let me assemble this up, and I'll show you what we got. Okay, everything's assembled now. I've got the injectors in, pressure tested it, you know, cycled the fuel pump. Everything looks good. I'm gonna get this started up. It's uh, like 10:30 Sunday morning, so you could you could be glad that I'm not your neighbor. These uh, injector plates that I have behind the throttle bodies, um, I cast those myself in my own foundry. Here's, here's a rough casting uh, that I make. Um, when I had my foundry going, I, I did all the foundry work all myself, and uh, I went through about 1,500 pounds of uh, aluminum a year casting. Here's um, one of the ECU housings that I cast like so and I uh, had some other stuff uh, oh let me show you this this is a uh, this is for a different model engine this is a for a three liter uh, mercury and uh, this is a reed, a reed plate casting I made the patterns and cores and cast all those myself um, we sold quite a few of those but uh, I'll show you some other stuff so this fuel injection conversion on this motor, uh, the reason it uh, increases any power or speed, uh, these are the throttle body or the uh, throttle plates that go behind the carburetor bodies on the stock motor. The uh, throttle bores are one and seven eighths inch, but on the uh, carburetors themselves, the Venturi size I think is one and five sixteenths if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so it's a big increase in, in area. And uh, on a boat like this, or uh, most boats, like on a, with a V6, uh, they would see like a four mile per hour gain in top speed on a bass boat. So that equates to you know, 15 plus horsepower. So you know, it's a pretty worthwhile thing. The, not to mention, um, you know, drivability and starting and idling and all that, better fuel economy. Now the uh, ECU that we use on these, it's the same one that we use on the Mercury outboard motors. And it's a uh, open loop system, meaning that there's no O2 sensor, there's no feedback. Uh, you can't really use an O2 sensor on these motors successfully because of the oil that's mixed in there. It'll foul them up and they just won't work right. So it uses a map sensor. And uh, anyhow, that was my business for since uh, 19, 96 uh, doing this stuff. I started with uh, making a air intake system for Mercury racing outboards and uh, Mercury actually, uh, I patented my uh, product and, and Mercury actually bought them from me to put on their race outboards for Formula One and for drag racing. Um, and from there I've made uh, intake systems for several different models, uh, Mercury's, Yamaha's, OMC, and some extra custom projects that we've done for racers uh, over the years. But uh, anyhow, I thought you might be interested. This is for those three liter reed plates I showed you. Uh, in the foreground, you can see the pattern and uh, to the left of that, some sand cores and the core box above that. Uh, the cores go into the mold cavity to produce the openings. Uh, here the cores are in place in the sand mold uh, before you put the top of the uh, uh, mold on sand mold on there and here I have uh, in Florida I had uh, outside foundry with a little furnace there I've got three of them ready to pour here and we uh, later changed to a dip out furnace this furnace holds about I think about 80 pounds of aluminum and you just use a ladle to dip it out but uh, back in the day I poured a lot of castings uh, here's a whole pile of raw castings ready to be machined. Here's uh, mocked up on a uh, three liter mercury motor. Uh, the black uh, manifold is a stock one. 
The difference is the internal profiles, the divider plate, and the transition going into the reed cages. It picks up about eight horsepower on the dyno. We used to do those all by hand. Uh, this just made it easier. Here's the OMC EFI conversion kit we used to sell. As this one is for a V6. Uh, had all the parts you needed, the ECU wiring harness, uh, and pump and injectors, everything. Uh, this is a, a Mercury Promax. Uh, that red part is a SVS. We manufacture that, and uh, that's part of our patent. This is something pretty interesting. This is a three liter uh, race boat. I had a customer. We built a special SVS, the purple part on there, uh, air intake, and then uh, that was pretty cool in itself. Uh, but the, the really neat part, if you look down below the uh, power head in the midsection, is a Lenco two-speed transmission. Uh, if you're familiar with outboards, they don't have a, a shifting transmission other than forward and reverse, but this uh, let the low revving three liter uh, Mercury, which was only good to about 9,000 RPM, uh, shift into high gear and booking on down the road, uh, used a um, electric water pump, and uh, you can see the two-speed in there, used an air shift, uh, used a CO2 bottle to do the shifting, uh, it's a pretty neat project, but the customer unfortunately lost interest in it, and it never really saw its full potential. Here's something that's a pretty big deal for us. Um, this uh, this here is our SVS air intake system. This is our first outboard performance product we ever manufactured. Uh, that's the one I designed and patented, and we started making those back in about 95 or 96, and we sold them directly to the racers and, and uh our customers and uh, had great success with it on the race course and Mercury Racing took notice of it and they tested it and decided they were going to include that on their uh, Premier Motors, their S3000, their drag motors uh, that they used in Formula One racing. And uh, we supplied them with those for probably about 12 or 13 years, uh, really uh, got us started. And then we, uh, from there, we made the uh, models for Promax motors and for three liter motors. Uh, we did special projects for Yamaha motors, OMC, and so forth. We made our own ECUs, um, did fuel injector uh, calibration. Uh, so anyhow, that's where we started. I hope I didn't bore everybody with all this uh, self-indulgent uh, show and tell, but uh, just thought it might be of interest to somebody. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description below uh, for my daughter's company, Brucato Power. She sells in the uh, Brucato ACU, which is the ECU unit, and also uh, for Rich with the Brucato Fuel Injector Service. Uh, he does uh, really good work. He's He worked with us for about eight or nine years uh, helping me manufacture parts and uh, do the fuel injector uh, the fuel injector work and uh, he's taking it over and doing a great job. Um, also, I'm going to put a link from the Wayback Machine from our Ricardo website if you care to look at and see some of the other stuff we used to do. Anyhow, thank you all for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.